How y'all doing? I'm the Watchman, and this is part 10. Now, I, I was hoping I could squeeze everything in nine, but I, I couldn't. So I'm going to just pick up back where I, right where I left off. In Hebrews, because some I know some are going to doubt and say, Josh, you're crazy. The devil in flesh, what? Because well, we've been watching too much TV. You know, we honestly have. You know, the angels can can turn into to other beings. I mean, it's all throughout the Bible. If, if you know it's all throughout the bible angels appearing as men you know and, and what like re, let's let the bible speak for himself you know god speak for himself hebrews 13 hebrews 13 verse 2 hebrews 13 verse 2 says be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unawares mm. now if angels couldn't appear as men then why would paul be warning us here that some have entertained angels unaware and didn't know it so if some can and he's talking about good angels right here if some can entertain good angels and good angels can appear as men then beloved bad angels can appear as men also hmm. just like in sodom and gomorrah Remember the men in Sodom and Gomorrah thought that the two angels were men. Remember, because they knocked on Lot's door and said, open up and and bring the men out here to us. Hmm. And they were angels. Beloved, I kid you not. I, I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't believe it so. But the devil is in flesh and amongst our leaders making decisions. The reason I brought up Alice A. Bailey because uh, this satanic priestess who, who doesn't hide who she is, has never hid who she was. They play on our ignorance. That's why they love to keep you entertained, keep you candy crushing and watching the shows. So you'll be caught unawares. Beloved. I mean, when you look at Alice A. Bailey, who was a, a student of Madame Blavatsky, you know, who uh, wrote the book on Lucifer that many follow, along with Aleister Crawley, who our leaders look to and follow. Her office, Lucis Trust, used to be formerly known as Lucifer's Publishing. Sitting in our United Nations building, do you think our leaders are ignorant of who she used to be or who she was worshiping? And their headquarters is in our United Nations building? Try to go in the United Nations building and set up an office. Just don't tell them nothing. Just go in there, you and some people with a desk, <laughs> sit down in the corner and say, this is going to be our office. We're going to start handing out cards. We're selling, let's just say we're selling... Uh, we're selling notebooks. We're a special kind. You're going to have CIA. They're going to run you out of there quicker than not. Get up out of here, sir. We got, we got a 10 for a or F, F, F14 by the door. They're going to run you out of there quicker than not. So you best believe if if they got a headquarters in there and has been in there since the 1930s, since the early 1900s, trust me, all our religious leaders know who she is, who she, they even got the meditating room. Who you think they're meditating to? It's right next, close to, if they have Lucis Trust, Lucifer's Publishing Headquarters in the United Nations building with a prayer room, who do you think they're praying to? No pictures of Jesus in the prayer room. And then you got Share International also located at the same address, sitting in with our political leaders Benjamin Krim, the CEO of Share International, well, one of the heads, I ain't going to say CEO, but one of the heads, the, and, and who has who is on YouTube talking about, you know, with where the devil has spoken through him. He has let himself be a channel. He is a puppet for the devil. And he has let himself be a channel for the devil speaking through him. Even a couple times with Bill Maher on there where, he, you know, he was sitting there and all of a sudden he just turned a bit more. And, you know, the devil starts speaking through him. He is, he, is a, he is a puppet for the devil. The so-called Maitreya, 
Messiah. Jesus is the Messiah. All of a sudden, we're searching for a Maitreya. Hmm. Beloved. Like I said, I mean, let's get back to where I was talking about how he's mirror matching Christ. Christ walked amongst us for 30 years before ever appearing and telling the world who he was. And the devil is doing the same. The devil is doing the same. The devil is amongst us. While, while we're watching sports and while we're thinking these things aren't going to happen. Why? Because they haven't made a movie like it. Come on, y'all. Wake up. Wake up. Look at our society. We're at the edge of eternity. When Pope Francis and Tony Palmer uh, had the heads. Now, these weren't regular people in Kenneth Copeland's church. These were the heads of the evangelical church standing up and applauding, talking about, we're Catholic now. This is a fulfillment of Revelation 13, where it says America is going to form an image back to the beast as the beast formerly was see the beast the, the catholic church and i'm talking about the system not the people because there are many god-fearing catholics who are living fully they're giving their whole heart to what they know and they honestly believe that they're serving god in all truthness you know and they just they need people to show them the error in the word according to the bible you know but beloved the people, because they have cleverly, cleverly kept our minds off of history, forget that these people killed over 200 million Christians just for having a Bible. Not too long ago, four or five hundred years ago, killing Christians just for having, you might just have a scripture in your pocket. You might just mention Jesus to your neighbor and your neighbor turn you in. You could be tortured and murdered. Over 200 million during the dark ages were killed by the Catholic Church and the Spanish Inquisition by Jesuits. Jesuits were created to stomp out Protestantism, but they've, they've cleaned up their act so goody-goody that we, uh, we've allowed, we have a Jesuit Pope and nobody, and only people who, who know what a Jesuit is, is like, what on earth? And the society and everybody in the world is, Pope Francis is cool, dude. He's for the people. He's for the, he sleeps in a regular one bedroom apartment and, you know, he was kissing little boy's toes at some meeting and all this little crazy stuff and he visited the jail. I don't know where the accent come from, but beloved, yeah, that's what people are saying about Pope Frank. He's so cool, but that's what Jesuits do. The Jesuit motto is the end justifies the means, meaning they'll do whatever it takes to win your confidence, your trust. What they have done cleverly in these certain years that the Catholic Church has been de dethroned. The Catholic Church was dethroned in 1798 when General Berthier went in there by orders of Napoleon took the Pope hostage. The Catholic Church was dethroned, but it gained its power again in 1929 by Mussolini, it was given its authority again back over Vatican and all authority and, and became back again a political power. But anyway, you had uh, the, 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 the motto of what the Jesuits were doing cleverly, what they will become a Lutheran. They, 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 they will become uh, Lutherans, they will become Methodists, they will become Pentecostals, they will become Seventh-day Adventists, they will become all the denominations and they will rise up in the rankings and then they will get so high up in the rankings they will start to change the laws of these denominations. When you had the Lutheran church say we apologize for what, for what Martin Luther said and did that was Jesuits in control of that. I remember uh, there were uh, another man, I forget his name. He said every war ha has had a Jesuit behind it. Jesuits used to be outlawed and banned. In the 1700s, late 1700s, they were banned. The Bavarian Lodge uh, was the last one held with, by Adam Weintop. Google is what I'm telling you. By Adam Weintop, they were banned and kicked out of Europe because everybody knew what their motive was. There, the Jesuits 
was created to bring all worship and praise back to Rome by any means, underhandedly, killing, death, trickery by any means necessary. Like I said, their motto, the end justifies the means. But Adam Weishaupt was uh, kicked out of Europe. The Bavarian Lodge was shut down. He came to America, a new nation, and he started what is now known. He just changed the name from Jesuit to Freemason. Our government leaders, you know, like Thomas Jefferson, that's why he wrote the Jefferson Bible. Google it. The Jefferson Bible, which takes away all the miracles of Christ. Why? Because they believe, like France, in the goddess of reason. If it doesn't make sense, then it didn't happen. That's what they believe in reason. Who you and, and like I said, you know, during the French Revolution, they took a prostitute and said, Here's our God. And they made her into a their their God, and that's where they get the goddess of reason. That's who the Statue of Liberty Liberty is made after. You know, but that goes all the way back to the spirit of Semiramis, Ashtoreth, the queen of heaven, you know, found in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 7, Jeremiah 7, where they speak about the queen of heaven. But anyway, beloved, the devil is in flesh and is in office in these secret societies, Illuminati, that's what the word Illuminati mean. It means, it supposedly mean men and women who've been enlightened, illumined, whose minds have been illumined. By Lucifer. Lucifer means light bearer. He was the light bearer in heaven. He was like God's personal text message. For real. He would visit the other beings and other galaxies with personal messages from God. He was the light bearer. And that's where they get the name Illuminati because they feel they've been, uh, their minds have been illumined, illuminated by the light bearer. That is who they worship and serve. And they've been paving the way. For him, if you also look at one of my videos I uploaded, uh, Lucifer's uh, capital, Lucifer's capital uh, in Kazakhstan, <laughs> it's a city built. He's gonna have a capital city, and it's a city that they've been building off of oil, off of oil money, spending billions of dollars building this city of sun worship for the Antichrist, for Lucifer when he appears as the Maitreya. For the whole world but what's sad is is he's gonna fool me billions and billions that's why they're they, and he's gonna pull on your heart because he's not gonna appear as some little demon with horns he's gonna appear with love you know a well-known writer lng white said it you know uh he's gonna appear so close to christ as as what christ once appeared He's going to appear so close that if people aren't grounded, they're going to fall for it. You know, like when Jesus said in Matthew 24, talking about the last days, he said, if the days wouldn't shorten, even the elect would be deceived. God's elect would be deceived. So, beloved, I'm telling you, do your homework. Google Alice A. Bailey. These, our enemies aren't playing at all. If it seems too far-fetched for the devil to be in flesh, then believe it. He has his food. Because we're too busy entertaining. Falling for what we've seen on TV. Too busy entertaining. But why you think that why you think he he they have it to where they want the internet in our smartphone so we can have it everywhere we go? I see so many cars on the road with DVD players. We're plugging our children into these. You know, to be right here, 24 hours, to where our kids don't even play outside. Why? So they can be easily fooled, easily deceived. Beloved, guard your home. Guard your families. Cut things off. Get back to the roots of things sometime. Of course, we have our technology as good and it's needed at times. But, beloved, make some time for this to grow. So your children's minds can develop outside of the traps and the outside of the matrix. Love it. The devil is in flesh and walking amongst us. And he's going to catch many of us unaware. They're, they're placing laws in place. That's why the NDAA was passed on New Year's Eve. Who passes a law on New Year's Eve? The very law that can lock anybody up for the rest of their life. And don't have to tell their family and friends nothing without no trial. The NDAA on New Year's Eve. Why? Because they knew people would be partying. Who told them to do that? The devil himself.
and we fall for it. Nobody put up a fuss. The truth loves investigation. 